Welcome! In this demo, we're going to walk through how to use some of GitHub's project management tools. For a scenario like planning an event like GitHub Universe, GitHub's annual developer conference. As the event organizer, I'm responsible for managing key tasks including booking the event venue and finalizing logistics, confirming speaker lineup and finalizing tasks, and planning the marketing and promotion strategy. To stay organized, I'm going to use GitHub issues to track individual tasks and GitHub project boards to visualize workflows, ensuring everything stays on schedule. Here I am logged into my GitHub account. I'm going to go ahead and create a new repository. I'll use this repository for all the relevant project files and to keep track of their revision history. I'm going to name the repository with something unique. I'll name it based on what I'm doing. GitHub Universe Planning. I'm going to go ahead and add a repository description. I'm going to keep this repository private for now, so only collaborators that I add to the repository can access it. I'm going to add a readme file as well. This will just include some basic information about what this repository is for. Create the repository. There it is. Now I'm going to create a new project to help me actually manage the project. I'm going to go to Projects. I'm going to click New Project. Then I'm going to select board. This will allow me to visualize and manage the workflow of tasks and issues associated with the project. I'm just going to give it a name. Click create project. There it is. There's the board. Three columns to do, in progress, and done. Now I'm going to create some tasks or issues associated with the project. Go back to my account. Let me go to the repository itself. There it is. Then I'm going to go to issues. Create a new issue. I'll give this first issue a title. This is for booking the event venue and finalizing logistics. I'll give it a description with some tasks. There they are. I can assign this issue to somebody who has access to the repository. For now, I'm just going to assign it to myself. I can add some labels to the issue. For this, I'll add logistics. I'll create a new label. I'm also going to add high priority. Create that new label. And then I'm going to associate this issue with a project. There's my project, GitHub Universe Planning. That's it for now. There's the issue. I can actually set the status of the issue here. This will actually place it in one of those columns within the project board. I'm going to change this to to do. Now I'll create another issue, give it a title, confirm speaker lineup and finalize talks. Let me add the description with the tasks. Again, I can assign this now if I want to. There's nobody else who has access to this repository, so I'll assign it to somebody else later. I'm going to add a new label, speakers. Let me associate it with my project. GitHub Universe Planning. That's it for that. Let me change the status of this. This will also be to do. Actually, for now, I'm just going to assign it to myself. I might change that later. Here we are. I'm going to create one more issue. Add the title to plan the marketing and promotion strategy. There's the description. Assign it to myself for now. Add a label. Marketing. Also social media. Assign to the project. Create. There's my third issue. I'm going to leave the issue status alone for now. Now I'm going to go back to projects. Access my project. Here's my board. You can see the three issues. This one had no status. I'm actually going to move it over to in progress. Now I want to be able to assign issues associated with this project to other collaborators. So first I need to add a collaborator to the repository. Go back to my account. Let me find the repository. I'm going to go to settings collaborators. You can see here, no collaborators have been invited yet. Let me find one to invite. I'll add my other GitHub account, Bleak TV. Add them. They're going to get an email. Here it is. That user will click on the invitation link, accept the invitation, and then they're added to the repository as a collaborator. They can see it here, and they can see the issues. If I go back to my original view, I can see the issues within the project board. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to assign it to the new collaborator, Bleak TV. And now we can start work.